Welcome to www.learnquickbooksfree.com. Hey Paul, how you doing? I received your uh, question on our forum post and I wanted to send you this uh, video response. Uh, your question over here states, I invoice at the end of my jobs, but take deposits sometimes months ahead. How and where do I enter these? Well, Paul, there is no cookie cutter answer to that, uh, but I will basically show you definitely one easy method of doing this. All right, so I'm here in QuickBooks, and I'm gonna go into Customers, and I'm gonna go under Receive Payments. So this would be the first step. All right, and now that I am at Receive Payments, I'm gonna go ahead and choose uh, Customer 1 as an example. Let's say you received $1,500 in the form of a check. Check number was 2700, whatever it may be. But the idea over here is basically I haven't created an invoice yet. I've only received the payment. And basically what I'm going to do, once I've put in that information, okay, and as you can see, I scroll to the bottom over here. And as you can see, it says over here, overpayment of $1,500. When you finish, do you want to leave the credit to be used later or refund the amount? We want to leave it as a credit. You're going to hit save and new or save and close. Let's go ahead and do save and closed. We get this little warning over here. And I'm going to hit yes. And then I basically get this thing over here and I'm just going to hit OK. And there you go. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you do that. OK, well, I hope you are still with me, buddy. So here we go. I am under customer center. And as you can see, customer one now has a negative 1500, which basically means a credit. So now that you know they have a credit. Now, let's say it's been a month or two months and you've invoiced them. So let's see how that affects it. All right, Paul, we are in the home stretch. So what I'm going to do is I went under create invoices. I got customer one right here. Let's say it has been two months down the line, so 529. And what I'm going to do over here, I'm just going to pick whatever item. Doesn't really matter. This is just an example, right? And let's say the total job was for 4500. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit save and new. And as you can see, I got this message over here that says, first of all, this transaction is 30 days in the future. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. And there you go. And now let's see what happens with the customer's balance. All right, so we're back at customer center, customer one. Total job was for 4,500. You got that 1,500 the deposit. That's right, we got our education. It is 3,000 difference. So we're looking good right here, and I'm going to show you one final step. All right, Paul, here comes the grand finale. Drum roll, please. We are basically at receive payments. And yes, you've just received your $3,000 balance. And I'm hoping you got big jobs like that or even bigger, man. So back to customer one. We collected our $3,000 balance. Check number was 2701, whatever it may be. And here's the important part. Over here, you'll see that there's a button called Discounts and Credit. Because right now we're only applying the three, but amount due still says 4,500. So where's that 1,500? It's under Discounts and Credits. And there you have it. You simply make sure this is checked. You hit done, and now it's applying the $1,500. You're basically going to hit save and new, or save and close. And that's pretty much it. If we go back to customer center, customer one, zero, no balance. And that's it, Paul. I hope this works out for you. And uh, make sure you come and visit us again for anything else you need. All right, you guys. Have a good night.
And that concludes this lesson. Uh, you can visit our website at www.learnquickbooksfree.com to watch more videos.